The sight from the air, from the Channel 9 helicopter, showing you ANZ Stadium, the home of the 2000 Olympics and this monster crowd, probably since the Olympics, the biggest crowd that it's ever housed. Away to the northern end, a sea of sky blue, 15,000, I'm told, of the Blatchies Blues. It makes for an incredible sight. And then from Queensland, the Maroon Crusade. They haven't forgotten that they are the champions. And they're here tonight to make it eight in a row. One of the great sports events that we celebrate down under. It is called State of Origin. It is game 99. It's the end of the 32nd series. And all it does is get better. Tonight, it's being billed as the biggest ever. So I think we're in for a magnificent night. Wherever you're watching around the globe, we're going to something like 97 countries. We welcome you again. To members of our armed forces in troubled areas, risking their lives for us at home. And how can I forget some of the members of the Farah family who would be watching in Lebanon, led by Robbie's dad, Peter. And uh, no doubt watching the game with incredibly mixed emotions. It was this corresponding game. There's Robbie over there at the back talking to his players as he prepares to captain for the first time. It was this corresponding game last year. He played his heart out. It was a heroic performance. That was to be the last match Robbie's ailing mum would watch her son play. So how proud do you think she would be then tonight as he comes through the misfortune of uh, Paul Gallen to his first captaincy of New South Wales, the 18th captain of New South Wales. And Cameron Smith is the elder statesman of this match tonight. He becomes the seventh player to reach the 30-plus mark of origin football. He captains for the ninth time. He just turned 30. This is his 30th game. Listen to this. New South Wales are on their way. Captain Robbie Farrer. 29 years of age. said enjoy your origin football how could you do anything else it is pulsating right around the ground intoxicating is another word that comes to mind all the talk has been about another decider this is what the fans yearn for this is the 17th and the maroons have lost only four of the 16 played over 31 years this is no ordinary decider though is one that will decide whether the Queenslanders will continue on with their juggernaut-like and relentless possession of the trophy for an eighth amazing consecutive year. So we stand by for what will be, I'm sure, a stupendous night. Here's the end. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Australian National Anthem. His platinum selling album, More Than a Dream, debuted at number one. He'll be touring nationally from September. Please welcome The Voice 2013 winner, Harrison Cray. Let's 
Milton Craig and the rendition of the national anthem at the 2013 closure of Origin. The power of television. I wonder did that youngster dream when he entered the voice that he'd be standing in front of a crowd of 84,000 singing the anthem only a matter of five seconds ago. Speaking of young players, a test for the inexperienced and the younger members of the side out there tonight not to let the occasion get to them. One thing about Origin, if you're not focused, the game flies past you and you don't realise it's gone. They've got to focus now, make sure they get an early touch, get an early tackle, get into the game. Take up their roles as soon as possible. The Blues to kick, Queensland to receive. Farrah, his mind to be dancing around together with his emotions. Cameron Smith, the old stager, been here, done that. Jonathan Thurston going round for his 27th consecutive. Shane Hayne, one of the referees in charge. Thurston, of course, has been here for every match of the dynasty over the seven years. Only missed, uh, I think he's only missed a matter of a few minutes, maybe 25 minutes at most. So New South Wales will run from right to left. Will this be the end of the dynasty? Down to Thurston at the northern end of the ground. Down into that sea of sky blue and Scott it is with the ball. So Scott from the Cowboys plays the ball and Miles is there on backup. 22 metres out from their own line. Work it as safely as they can. Then put the kick on it, get through the first set, keeping in mind that the winners of games one and two have got off to a flyer, and here's a man that was responsible in many ways for game two's victory, Sam Thayday early, aiming his guns particularly at the New South Wales number six. Smith taken on the halfway line. It was a grappling tackle, which crept up a little bit. So now it's away for Cronk to kick, and... Avoiding an attempted charge down from Farrah. Marked back there by Josh Dugan in his third origin game. Centre ground inside his own 20 metre line. Oh! McManus fell and English went over the top of him. It's a penalty going to the Blues. It's been ruled as a high tackle. And the first penalty goes the home way, and Robbie Farrah took three plays to get back. He shortened up in that tackle on Sam Thayday. He was falling, James McManus, and Greg Inglis did collect him high. Yeah, watching it on replay, Greg has gone down to inflict the high tackle rather than McManus falling into it. So it's now with Luke Lewis, man of match in game one here. Through to Maloney now, and then to Bird, and Bird to the halfway line. And there's a hand in between the legs, lifting him up and putting him down. Now for Woods, and Aaron again starting the game. He'd find it a lot more comfortable in his own backyard than he did in Queensland on Dubu. And to ground, a knock on by Mitchell Pearce. They gather round to offer encouragement. Well, that's nurse. First error after two minutes. Going against Mitchell Pearce. He just wanted to get the ball on the outside quicker than he was able to get control of it. And the one thing we've noticed in the first couple of minutes is that a lot of players getting in tackles slow play the balls. The referee's quite lenient in the play the ball area to start this game. So Queensland coming up with the ball in relatively good position and has gone through hands and finished up with Tate. Brent Tate on the halfway line taken by Jennings. Miles is hit hard. Tackle around the midriff by Maloney to be noted. Jennings up the top. Passed by Hodges. Parker, one of three juniors from Logan. The producer of Cameron Smith and Corey Parker and Josh Papali. Now to wait to Thurston, Thurston back to Slater, Slater the sweep is on, around to Inglis out wide. Did he get a lot of room in game one? As he plays the ball on the 20 metre line. For Cronk, to go to Scott. And Matthew is 
18 out. Five and last. They've come 50 metres. Thurston, little kick. Dugan expected to clean up with McManus. And the latter does that. Well, the big difference I noticed there that when Queensland went for their first spread to the left was that New South Wales employed a slide defence rather than the up and in style that they got in game two and got themselves in so much trouble with. But a lovely place little kick there from Thurston at the back end of the set earns them another opportunity at New South Wales end of the field. The crowd is right into this. They are cheering every collision. The first of our line dropouts and it's very big. It's gone pretty much 58 metres to Thurston to give it to Scott. That was kicked by Dugan. Monster drop kick from Dugan. Back now for McQueen from South Sydney. 30 metres out from the Blues line. And again, good field position. They set up their play. Thurston, Slater, a drifting ball to Tate. He got a pass in for Hodges. Ball comes loose. Dugan has got it. They try to walk him back to the end goal, but he'll play the ball three metres out from his own line. Ryan Hoffman. Now it's away for Tamo. Tamo. Playing the ball inside his own 30 metre line. Greg Bird. The Blues bring it out. I think it's a pretty... Look at the Queensland are trying to run the ball wide. They believe that they're going to break New South Wales. They do it three passes wide. Farrow with a scurry. Maloney didn't quite know that he'd played the ball. Now Woods. Wally Lewis in the commentary box with Phil Gould and Peter Sterling. Andrew Johns down the lock out. Down on the sideline. As this ball goes down the ground and finds the line. Yeah, not quite sure whether that was the intention of James Maloney but it's a good kick anyway get good field position you're trying to put up the spiral bomb here put a bit of pressure but got it over towards the sideline but that will do Greg Inglis only had 11 carries in game one he had 16 in game two and most of those were in much better space and good James, ball to him okay, he's had one carry in the opening in. couple of minutes and we'll continue to go his side where possible as Queensland win the scrum. 15 out, they come the short side to Justin Hodges. Spider Cam. Brought to you courtesy of Wolverine. On the 20 metre line, played by Hodges. Now to Miles. Miles put down in a three man tackle by Hoffman, Tamo, and Woods. Now for Thurston, they look to go up the middle with Scott. From long reach. A few carries early. Now that's McQueen. Playing the ball short of the halfway. And Corey Parker jamming it up. And they will kick here right on the halfway line. Plunk it is. He won the series for them with the drop goal in game three last year. Morris recovered, went straight for the accelerator. Got it out to the 10 metre line. The yeah, crowd are booing there. They thought Justin Hodges hit Brett Morris with a high shot. It didn't look that way. So Holden stats board keeping you abreast of many of the vital statistics. It is, of course, Holden State of Origin. Here is Greg Bird again on the 30 metre line. So we're seven and a half minutes in. And at a corresponding time in the match in Brisbane three weeks ago, New South Wales, their hopes had already been severely ruined. So they're hanging in there at the moment as Tate recovers the rolling ball. Well, it looks a much slower surface here tonight, right? Um, it was a heavy dew down there. When I walked across the ground, you could feel the moisture. A lot of these players making sure of their footing there. It's not going to be a fast game. This is going to be a real war in the trenches. Woods leading with his right shoulder to stop Fiday. Play in centre ground. And they're there too long. It's against Greg Bird. Three times winner of Man of the Match at Origin. 
And that's what I mean. You shouldn't be giving away penalties tonight for holding down and to play the ball because the play's that little bit slower anyway. So this was just overkill by Greg Bird. He holds on and holds on. And all he's done is invite Queensland down into great attacking zone. Well, you're right, Gus, with it being so slow, it, invite, it provides wonderful opportunities for the defence to get back probably 10 or 11 metres and guarantee you don't provide an opportunity with a penalty. Cameron Smith taking the free kick and Matt Scott rucking it over towards the middle of the ground. They're 12 metres out. They've got five up their sleeve and here's Friday. And again running at Maloney. Hoffman playing bodyguard a little bit. Now from Hodges, long to Cronk, left foot step. Five metres out. There's the line. Smith behind one to Thurston. Dummy comes back off the left foot and Thurston is oh! over. There's your first try of Origin 3. It's going to be investigated. That's a four tackle. But Jonathan Thurston appears to have scored and Ben Cummins agrees. Well, New South Wales weren't certainly content to make sure they had the outside men covered, but they fell off the man with the ball. Jonathan Thurston forced him back on the inside, looked to be covered by all intents and purposes, and somehow he slithered his way through and slammed the football down. I didn't see an obstruction in here. He goes wide, he throws the dummy. There's nothing on for the outside players. That's well covered by the Blues defence. Props off the left foot. Goes on the inside of Aaron Woods comes to another front rower in James Tamo and he's able to find his way over the line through perseverance comes back and beats the two prop forwards the only one impeded is Woods as he came back but I don't think he was going to get there Nate Miles was in the line but he couldn't disappear I don't, they can't take that try off them I wouldn't imagine but I suggest it was Aaron Woods that was screaming at the referee to check the obstruction and, and possibly Robbie Farrer back on the inside as well. He goes into the back of... Well, he gets around Nate Miles, but in fast action, no. it all looks good for He's Jonathan straight. Thurston. He's gone. Shane Hayne on camera with Jonathan Thurston waiting for the decision. And there it is, the first try of Origin 3. Jonathan Thurston in his 27th game scores his fifth try. So welcome back to ANZ Stadium, the Olympic Stadium here in Sydney. Jonathan Thurston has scored, Queensland lead 4-0. He now has seven points in arrears of Mal Meninga's origin point scoring record. He will almost certainly kick this and reduce it to a mere five points. So a record that has stood for a long time looks certain to go by the board tonight. Thurston scoring, 11 minutes gone, six nil is the score in favor of the Amy 4X Queensland Moreau. Harvey Norman replay. Well, they had the outside men covered. New South Wales defence. And they thought that they'd done the job. Jonathan Thurston. They are an amazing team, Queensland, are taking advantage of consecutive sets. That came off the back of a penalty. They've already forced a restart. And now Billy Slater catches it and finds Matt Scott. It's deciders like this. Queensland seem to find... Many times a miracle play at precisely the right time. I mentioned Cooper Cronk just earlier on. Wally Lewis, you played in four deciders. You won them all. Great games to play in. They're the biggest challenge of your life. I often say that the players that perform in those games, they're the ones you want inside, inside you seven days a week. Friday. And Jared Hayne. Unable to make his engagement here tonight. Oh, Hodges, taken by Farrah, Cronk is there, he goes high, and into the Shall end goal for Dugan. Right. 
We've got a challenge on the kicker here. The pocket referee from the time he kicked it was yelling out penalty, penalty. And that's a big, big play right at this so moment. There's Crop, and he's like hit tackle, by like Maloney. Well, that's in slow motion. But he hasn't used his arms in the tackle, and he did get yeah. the man while he was in mid-air as well. So a couple of counts against him, and not surprisingly, with points at a premium, you would think tonight, Jonathan Thurston will take the gift too. It's a bump. Honestly, it's a bump. What are they going to call that? A shoulder charge. All right. Dear, dear, so dear. Thurston to reduce that margin I'm talking about by a further two in as many minutes. Gus, that might be the expensive part. Two points about to be added to the list, but I thought the real danger for New South Wales was the five tackles prior to that that allowed to get Queensland so much territory up the field. That's extraordinary. It, it might be a bump, but the players know that if you challenge a kicker, you have to go in with your arms up in a tackling yeah. motion. You know. First in, 11 out, close proximity. There's another two to this uh, superhero from the Cowboys. And for all the camera angles from tonight's Origin Decider, go to the App Store and download Jump In. Be your own director if you like. Jump In is absolutely free of charge. Jonathan Thurston now, three points away. From breaking the Mal Meninga record, equaling the Mal Meninga record. His coach, who's been beside him in all of the matches over the seven years of this domination. And it's ironic that it's going to fall by the wayside, you would imagine, tonight. Scott, back on his own team, he's laboured hard. Miles taking it up, got it away, I don't know how. Slater is with it, and Lewis has got him. He'll play the ball inside 30. Smith a dummy half, onto Cronk, onto Thurston. Thurston steps off his right foot. He beat Maloney, and it brought the tackle of Tamo and Jennings. So now for Parker, and he's brought down right in the middle of the ground. He's found a, a new lease of life for him, Parker. He's been so, so strong for Queensland in this series. As Cronk goes high with a tormenting kick. It bounces over Dugan and goes dead. And then there's a push in the back from Inglis on Dugan. And the New South Wales coming out to the 20. Officials in position now. Well, the next time we see a kick coming from Queensland, I don't think it'll be any surprise to see it as a torpedo kick aimed at Dugan. 15 minutes gone. Gould, Wally Lewis, and Peter Sterling with me in the broadcast box tonight for this historic origin clash. Described by many as the biggest of them all. Play by Tamo. Now Burr. Up the middle goes Greg Bird. Without his bruised brother tonight, the captain Paul Gallant. Gone away through Pierce and found Lewis. Lewis near halfway. The kick then from Pierce. He's outside his 40. He's gone down towards Tate in the deep. Tate, of course, one of the products of football out in Roma. One of the miracle workers. For the Queensland side, the home of Beaton and Lockyer and Khan. That's where he's from. He continues a long association with Hodges. They played Junior Kangaroos in 2000 and 2001. That's how long they've been together. Now it's gone to Kronk and Kronk gets to halfway. Wasn't tackled. Thought about passing. Smith then going to the middle. And Scott works it on the left side. 37 out from the New South Wales line. And the Cronk puts it high and across. McManus from Newcastle, equal to the task. Reminded by Greg Inglis. Keep an eye on me. Here's Morris, Josh. 
They won three or four games for the Siders, according to Holden. It's good lead to see from New South Wales. Good run there from Josh Dugan and a quick play. The ball allows Tamo to again find 10 to 15. One more and they'll be in an, an attacking, kicking position. Pierce short into Lewis. Now it's five gone. Farrers indicating kick. That he does. Sending it over towards Tate, and Tate makes a mistake. It's picked up by Pierce, and six more tackles. Two metres out from the line. The Blues with a great chance here. Oh, there's room on the left. Burrowing effort from Maloney. Slow to play the ball. Farrah back to the feeders out there now, is he not? Yes, Andrew Fafita is out there. Farrah's pass is horrible. It's gone back and it's taken by Queensland. Wow. Hodges diving on the ball. Well, that's a great hustle from Justin Hodges. But it was some lazy play there by the New South Wales outside back. Sure, it was a bad pass, but you've got to get it for your teammates. Queensland on the ball in a flash. Fafita on and so too. But Queensland, Ben Teo out there, Matt Scott, outstanding first 18 minutes from the front rower. Hodges. In fact, it was Ben Teo that took that play. Now it's Parker. And Parker will play the ball under a three man tackle as they peel off one by one. And then Cronk stabs this kick down to Dugan in front of goal. And Tio in 15 is there, wrestling down hard. Fide got involved momentarily. Now for Brett Morris. And he's just outside the 20 metre line. Farrell looking at Hoffman. 38 metres away from his line now. And now for Anthony Watmo. And Watmo, with good leg speed, takes it. Five metres into Queensland's area, and it's a Blues penalty off the whistle of Shane Hayne. Yeah, and that's a timely interchange from Blues coach Laurie Daly, getting Watmo out there. He has got the leg speed to make a difference. And you can see there just a little bit more speed and power. They hold him down a bit longer, and he forces the penalty, puts the Blues right on the attack. Just the fourth penalty of the game, two all. Here it the is. beauty of that penalty for New South Wales is that it came late in the count as well. Ryan Hoffman now takes the win start from Michael Jennings' head centre field, just 21 out. Farrah goes to Fafita. Fafita, the meter eater. Biggest man on the park, 114 kilos. And one of the fastest. Bird, second man, Pierce, quickly, Dugan. Five metres away from the line. Lewis, now Watmo. A little bit of indecision. A little bit of disorganisation, I think. Farrah for Bird, run around, and then back to Maloney. Here's a chance for Hoffman, but Queensland close ranks. Great online defence. Prolific scorer of tries on that left side, Hoffman. Maloney. The kick, the jump, down for the Blues. Pierce scoops it away. Here is McManus. McManus has a second go. He'll play the ball. Zero tackle. So the crowd rises now. As the Sky Blue try to come back, but they make another mistake. Oh, comes up with it. Unbelievable scrambling defence again. Jonathan Thurston and Chris McQueen on the far side to deny James McManus after Greg Inglis put the kick down as Brent Tate did earlier in the game on this side of the field. It is 8-0 in favour of Queensland. Brent Tate taken by Bird and Farrah. Miles off Gilladon, right? Another change made by Mal Meninga. 
who tonight levels up with Phil Gould, is coaching most games of origin. 24, I think it is. Well, they definitely should have scored at the other end there, the Blues, and I'm not talking about the last play with McManus, but earlier in the set of six, when Dugan came around the back, all that was needed was a quick hands pass, and they had two men over. Queensland were really short in defence, and Dugan didn't get the ball away, and it was an opportunity lost. More than a quarter of the game gone. 58 minutes remaining. Lewis playing the ball just outside his own 30 meter line. Fafita with it now. Former Tiger, now Shark. Here is Watmo. And a good yards again by Watmo. Yeah, he's the man for New South Wales. He needs to get a lot of the ball. It's Farrow going out, turning it round and back for Bird. It's an appeal for a penalty. High tackle on the Blues from Ben Teo. Well, it looked awkward. Ben Teo is claiming he tackled the ball and not around the head. It did look spectacular. A nice little jink in around there. It just bounces up a little bit and Bird falls awkwardly. But it's a penalty to the Blues. There's just some little opportunities now for the home side. And it's all come since Watmo got on the field. He's just got Queensland on the back foot a little bit. So the free, 20 metres out, here's Hoffman, comment uh, sideline Andrew. Yeah, I agree with Gus, angle changes around the ruck of Robbie Farrah. Farrah to Fafita, he tries to steamroll over the top of them, but this is Queensland, Andrew, they're good. Farrah, back for Watmo, run around Farrah, now Bird. They're using the run around play. Quite a bit, he's lost the ball. Penalty Blues, stolen. Haynes says stolen by Queensland. He's already held, mate. I think it's harsh against Queensland. You heard the held call, and it did appear as though Greg Bird kept persisting towards the, the try line. What else is the defence going to do? New South Wales maintain the pressure. Watmo has become the go-to man. And around the legs is Corey Parker. And Gillett is out there, Matt Gillett. Farrah long to Pierce and long to Dugan. And now Josh Morris off that right foot. Got it to McManus, he's over. There's the first of the Blues tries. Newcastle's McManus, or Scotland's McManus has scored. Well, they couldn't deny him on that occasion. He went oh so close. The last attacking raid. And again, it was the creation of, a, of an extra man down that right-hand side with Josh Dugan sweeping around. Darius Boyd comes flying in, and Josh Morris did a great job to keep it alive. And so too, McManus to beat two to get the ball down. asking a question of the referee, Shane Hay. Again, welcome to you all watching around the world. We're in a break here in Australia. A chance to say a special hi to, as I said, the troops, friends of mine on that world crew. So even watching in Norway, we're led to believe. But there is James McManus, who hails from not too far from there. They're playing the Flower of Scotland in Newcastle right now. Gus. The Flower of Scotland. I think that's their most name. God love them. McManus scores. And there they are, Man United. And Peter, you're into soccer much deeper than I. Well, there you see the man at the back, David Moyes, former Everton coach, took over from Sir Alex Ferguson. And I believe that we'll be having a chat with one of the great English players, well, Welsh players actually, but plays in the English competition, Get Ryan right. Giggs. Apologise, Ryan. What, what a player he's been for a long, long time. And they would be loving this. They would be loving the contest and the rivalry. They play out of the field of dreams, don't they? Here is Maloney. His kick is wide. 
And so it is 8 four in favour of Queensland. Andrew Johns on the sideline. Yeah, we just watched the Harvey Norman uh, replay here. You'll see on the outside of Pierce here, two forwards go through. Luke Lewis goes through. That holds Greg Inglis up. Normally he would come up and try to snuff that play out and try to tackle Dugan, but it keeps Inglis out. And look at this, a great finisher, James McManus. A couple of weeks ago he scored four for the Knights. Maybe one more for New South Wales will be handy. Special thrill there for you to watch one of the Novacastrians going in. Well, the key there, too, was the quick hands from Dugan. I just got through saying that if he'd done it last time with quick hands, the Blues would have scored earlier. So maybe that's the go-to side for New South Wales. Fafita. I watched him carving up his old club side a fortnight ago, and I made the comment back down the other end of the ground that this is a different kettle of fish tonight. This is Wait for Age Company. It's Greg Bird become a real veteran of this he loves this he loves this arena he took a knee to the, to the head there by, by accident now Lewis going to Josh Morris and he's got that contest running over there Darius Boyd made that tackle not Greg Inglis now Luke Lewis who was in the last New South Wales victory in a decider in 2004 Coached by Gus Gould, captain Danny Badiris. Luke Lewis was in there. Now Slater. 21 away from their own line. Brent Tate. Gap year new, Monday 8 o'clock for Hamish and Andy. Here is Gillett. And Josh Pafali in Jersey 17 making his way out for... The Queensland side only played 11 minutes in game two. And I suspect he might get more tonight. They're looking for something a little bit explosive going into the final 10 minutes to half time. Slips over Corey Park in trying to play the ball, and Justin Hodges claimed immediately a dummy half. Yeah, they've done well here, the Blues. They've really clawed themselves back into this. Queensland are really stopped a little bit of a walk at this stage, and the Blues are on top. Dugan. Counter punching, and he's tackled just inside the 30 metre line. Papali has gone on. Friday came off. And Papali plays in jumper number 17. Sam is off. The Broncos captain. Now for Fita. Born in Blacktown. Played juniors down at Griffith with the Waratahs club. And here's what Moak in. Farrow drops it into the corner. Slater doesn't mess about. He knows they're coming quick, and there they are, the possum. And that's good tactics here from New South Wales. Billy Slater doesn't like coming out of that corner at all. He's very reluctant to be running right to left across field. It's not his favoured side. First in. An overall crowd for this year will set a record crowd number for Origin Series. They'll break it quite commandingly, really. Waiting for the crowd figure here tonight. It could well be a ground record crowd. It was set just recently by the British and Irish Lions. It's a stadium that's getting plenty of, plenty of focus, isn't it? Man United, British and Irish Lions and State of Origin. And here is Brett Morris on the left side. Well, Collie. as New South Wales bring the ball away from their own line, Queensland, that was the first time that they'd thrown the ball two passes wide in the last three sets of six. They started off by attacking wide. At the moment, they're just trying to suck in the air. Played by Hoffman. Now for Watno again. He's lapping it up, isn't he, Anthony? He's killing him this late. He really is. He's troubling him. Since he come on, the game has turned. Matt Scott is about to come back on. Brilliant start to the game. Dugan, oop, oop, oop. Thurston was the tackler, nothing said, that's okay. Gentled him down. Now Maloney, and he kicks high and across towards Tate. And Brent surrenders in the tackle. He made sure of that one, Brent Tate, didn't he? He was taking no risk at all. Well, I said earlier, I thought Queensland had a tough call on their own line. I thought that was a tough call against New South Wales. He did get him into a dangerous position. 
The referee called play on. Huge eight minutes coming up now going into the break. The last two games, there was a 14-point gap between the two teams. Queensland would like to extend the four-point lead, and the Blues would love to be in front at half-time. It's time for both to do so. Coaching box, New South Wales. Probably the furrows on the forwards are not as deep as they were at 8-0. Now, look, New South Wales, in, in this last little 10 or 15 minutes, are way on top. I know they're behind on the scoreboard, but they've had the flow of the game. They've got themselves a try, which will boost the confidence, and they're actually digging into the Queenslanders. And the Queenslanders, as Wally said, have stopped attacking. Cameron Smith has kicked early in the tackle count two in a row just to get it up the other end of the field. Bird is off now. And Cordner sitting next to him, yet to come into the game. Merrin's gone into the game to take the place of Bird. But there's high expectation waiting for Cordner to come into the game. The youngster, the 21-year-old from Old Bar. 8-4 to score. And plenty of brown mopping going on at the moment. Here's Hoffman running that left side again. Playing it for Jennings. Now for Malone. Behind for Feeder. Kick for Pierce. And it's high with hang time. Slater goes up high and brings it down under Jennings. 11 hour. Tate. Run. Oh, Lewis fell. And Tate has exploded down the ground. Taken by Dugan. And Darius Boyd was flying up on his inside, then his outside. Couldn't find him. But Greg Inglis now. A rare carry for him over halfway. Luke Lewis, Luke Lewis spilled his lollies completely. Couldn't get any traction and he did a dipsy doodle. There's no fullback at home for New South Wales. So here is Thurston. Comment from the, the great Wally Lewis in the background. He's looking for weaknesses if he can find them. Well, he's back there now, Dugan. He's hurting. He, he's not right at the moment. Cooper Croft. It's a forward pass against Queensland called. Benny, take the mark, Benny. Wait there, wait there, wait there. Kevin, you're right. Yep. Okay. How's the nerves, Walter? Yeah. <laughs> the teeth are rattling at the moment. Trent Merrin has given me three head eye tackles already. <laughs> and they weren't penalised. I didn't do anything for him. Well, here is a penalty going against Queensland for holding on in the tackle. Merrin lost the football. But the referee saying that it was because of the Queensland defender. And this is really good. Five minutes before half time, a penalty and an opportunity. But I believe, look at Joey down there on the sideline. He'd love to be out there playing. The Welshman? This is a, a real opportunity for New South Wales now to dominate this last five minutes before half time. Set up camp down the other end and don't come away until you get points. Hey! Hoffman then. Matt Scott, Matt Scott, you're offside. Matt Scott, you're offside is the call. And Watmo almost went forward to Fafita. Watmo backing away, wants first receiver. But he doesn't get it, and Merrin, and then they, they sweep around to Dugan. Dugan to McManus. McManus comes away, and he crawled a couple of metres. Got the ball to Farrah. Farrah shows it, then gives it. And Watmo is with the ball again. And Watmo picked up 10 metres out. That's exactly where they are. Middle of the ground. And Pierce, Pierce, and he's tackled. Desperate shot on him by Tio and clamping it over the top with Slater. So here is Farrar rolling it in. Oh, it's been knocked on. This will be a try for Josh Morris. That'll be tackle forward. Here. I think I might tackle have it forward. right. We have no try. I, no, he's saying no try. Wow. I think he's saying that he did ground it. Well, this is going to be very, very interesting because the Queensland players certainly made a mess of this. But whether somebody has got their hand on the football to save the day, we are about to find out. Robbie Farrar, a pet play of his with the Tigers. The chase is way on side because he's kicking from dummy half. Billy Slater comes across. Darius Boyd can't get it. Well, I think Josh Morris has scored. They're saying Darius Boyd has, has got downward pressure on this. We've just got to watch his fingers roll across the top of the ball here. He misses it the first time. Now he'll reach back. 
Oh, yeah, he does. He wow. Does. He oh, just gets oh, your oh, fingers oh, on oh. it. Oh. <laughs> just gets his fingers on it. That's a real let off for Queensland. One finger. Oh, that has been a brilliant that. piece of refereeing by Shane Hayne. I've got to say that. For all money, it looked like a knock on. And then Shane Hayne, this man with the whistle, has found just enough downward pressure with the final finger from Boyd, celebrating his birthday today. Yeah, it's a game of inches, isn't it? But the pressure is not off for Queensland. They are staggering, the Maroons. For the last 10 or 15 minutes, they've been really out of sorts. And New South Wales are powering towards the half-time break. A try here could be crucial in the context of the game. Ten and a half minutes out from the break. The dropout goes 50, and for Fido, he loves this sort of stuff. Communications at an all-time high for the Queenslanders at the moment. Come on, boys! <laughs> to Jennings, and Jennings away. Pierce, lively tonight, isn't he? And here's Dugan inside the 20-metre line. Running most of their work over towards Morris and McManus. What moves? The pass to Merrin. Trent Merrin. The Dragon playing it for Farrah. Maloney to the line. Held it up a little bit for Jennings. And Jennings is taken down. Nine out. That's the fourth tackle. Maloney a dummy half. Long into Farrah. Inside he goes to Fafita, the offload, back to Merrin. Merrin back to Fafita. Fafita then goes to the 10, gets rid of one, gets rid of two, fends another one, fends the same bloke again. And he'll play the ball now, Fafita. And he loses the ball. They get a penalty. Well, they will do very well here, Queensland, to hold on. Three sets in a row. New South Wales starting to get offloads going. And looking very, very dangerous. Big moment coming up in the overall scheme of this game. Go. Fafita, hasn't he had some carries of late? Here he is. To play the ball. That's the line up in front of him. To the tune of three metres. And now Merrin reverses into the defence. Farrah again wanted to run around play. He goes right side for Pierce. The jinx then takes the defence. Now, that's how far they are. Half a metre. For Lewis, he goes deep. And Farrah showed it, went himself, beat one, got it away, quick hands from Hoffman, picked up by Jennings, but the referees have called it back. They saw a knock on. The Blues were off for the prize. Well, that's a real momentum killer right there, because... The Blues look certain to score. They've done everything but score. And Queensland are out on their feet. The Maroons are screaming for the half-time hooter. And with only 44 seconds left on the clock... Let's go, Queensland! They should be able to retain possession and get to the safety of their sheds with a four-point lead. But it's all New South Wales at this stage. Leave it in there, Josh. Queensland... To win the scrum, and Greg Inglis tackled inside the 20 metre line. So this match, thus far, hasn't let anybody down. It's been most exciting after a brilliant start for Queensland, with eight points on the board for John Thurston, and then McManus came back with the try for New South Wales. Hodges puts it out the back. The ball is loose on the ground and the referee will call time. So there it is, the end of the first 40 minutes. That's an outstanding first 40 minutes of Origin football. Absolutely outstanding. They both turned up in the first half this time. They certainly did. First and a try at the 10th minute. Got the first try. He kicked a couple of goals. Darren Locke here on the ground. Yeah, Cameron, you had to absorb a lot of pressure in the back end of that first half. Yeah, we did, Lockie. We, we started really well, mate. Uh, obviously, we wanted to carry on from what we did in uh, Brisbane, but just lost our way a bit with the last 20 minutes. You know, they, the Blues started to get a bit of a roll on. We lost a few tackles, so I'm sure that'll be a talking put half time. Thanks, mate. Well, Cameron Smith, thank you to you and to Darren Lockyer. At half time, it is Queensland 8, New South Wales 4.
Holden halftime. Our panel take us through the KFC first half highlights. That's next as Wide World of Sports brings you the Holden State of Origin, the closing half, the decider, live on nine win NBN and Imparja across Australia and 97 countries around the world. So welcome back to a, a rocking stadium here at ANZ in Sydney. Sounds of YMCA in the background, keeping the crowd very much involved. Not hard to be involved though, it's only 8-4 at halftime, Queensland the champions, leading by four. It's a significantly different scoreline than the one we have seen in games one and two this year, when at both games we were 14-0. 14-0 New South Wales and then 14-0 Queensland in one and two. So the Maroons have got 40 minutes to hang on or to go further in front to retain this incredible Australian sporting record. Seven origins in a row. And if they go across the line tonight in front, they will, of course, rewrite their own records. Wonderful performance, win, lose or draw. The crusade here in number. We're reminded, of course, that winner of game one statistic goes on to win about 75% of matches. The Blues have got four points to come back to level to keep that hope alive. The Queensland are back. The Blues on their way behind Robbie Farron. McManus the try. Pierce an early mistake, a nervous mistake, the seven. But then he was, I thought, quite brilliant from there on in. He's the longest serving halfback in origin history. Mitchell Pierce, I'm talking about. And uh, by his own admission, he believes he has to win this game tonight to hold the jumper. Mitchell Pierce comes from a wonderful pedigree. Father Wayne played for Australia, played at Origin. Well, the good news for Blues fans is that they are right in this contest. But as is the case, for most of these occasions, this first 10 minutes after half time, they've really got to get themselves into the fight. Here's the second half underway. The last half of the last game of origin for Holden this year. Blues then back on their own 20 metre line. The ball played back there by Trent Merrin. And now for Ryan Hoffman on the second play. This ground quite slow. And some players having trouble getting required traction for Fita. And here's Maloney wanting early ball. And he got it from Farrah. Down to the halfway line. Now Watmo again picks up where he left off and Pierce links the play to Farrah who kicks and uh, it's dropped Slater right back to the goal line and the chase is good. Gee, I was surprised by that kick. I thought it may have been a better option to take the tackle and put enormous pressure on Queensland with the high ball. Comments again there from the great man Wally Lewis. Ben Tio. In fact, uh, it's Josh Papali. Now for Scott. And driving in is Watmo in defence. Together with Fafita. Smith, first in. Now McQueen. And Queensland on the last tackle. Are seven metres from halfway. So Kronk. He kicks low down to Morris, who gets a friendly bounce. And Brett tackled on the 30-metre line. Identical twins. For the benefit of people that are watching this around the world. One plays in the centre in four, the other on the wing in two. And here is Lewis now. Three 
deciders have been played here. I'm told by Holden. And oh. there's a ball away. Dugan can't handle it. It was from Fafita. Oh, wow. Well, that was so you close. On the line. Did you? We didn't bring it up for a Dugan game. just oh, pushing up in support with the big bloke who muscles his way through the line, dangles the arm. And Dugan was through but just couldn't get a handle on the ball. Beautiful work by Fafita. Look at that. Nice soft hands. Straight up. Dugan, come here. Come here. Spills his lollies. In an origin first, GIO has been gathering New South Wales fans from around the country to show their support for the Blues. Yep. Tonight, 5,000 fans had their names on New South Wales players' jumpers, making a total of 15,000 Blues fans recognised across the series. Queensland inside the 40 metre line, early stages, second half, that is Teo. Offloads four for the Blues, two for the Maroon. Gillett. Smith, now for Papali. And in many ways, rocketed to stardom from that ankle biting performance against Paul Gallen when playing for the Raiders. And here's Crunk! 15 metres out from the Blues line. Last tackle, first in, a chip. Morris goes high and comes down, rolling forward as he did. I call it help, just right there, back on the mark. Wants it to go back. Okay. It was a bit of a nothing kick, wasn't it? Yeah. There wasn't much on that at all. And for the folly of the set of six, it was a rather sad ending. Still, the Blues have got to come off their own line. They really needed to go high to give the chasers enormous opportunity to be able to grab the ball and perhaps even come up with a, a restart with a goal line drop. This fellow's been really good, dude. Well, that was a super run then, because the first two didn't go anywhere, and he's picked up 12 just through perseverance. Peter, well, he's been tremendous. Coming off the bench again, he might could play the ball, that'll help his team. Now Pierce. And he drives it down to Slater on the 20. Running away from the southern end of the ground is Slater. Churchill medalist, one of three, I think it is, in the game. Here's Darius Boyd. Try scoring freak. He might have picked up a try here tonight to do what he did in 2010. It's still not beyond him, that's for sure. The birthday boy. Smith away, Thurston. Then for Kronk, he holds it back, and he gets the ball away to Slater. Slater on to Hodges. Hodges inside 30. Play back for Brent Tate. Kronk, Scott, running it at Farrah. Find the small men, run at them if you can. Now Kronk, and he kicks nicely. The jump is on, but it's down for McManus. And he was almost up and away, but grabbed by Gillett. Very experienced play, the professional play by James McManus. Hit the ground immediately so that the Queensland chasers couldn't force him back into the in-goal area. And by doing so, he actually nearly came out the other side. It wasn't his first intention as what most struggles to his own 20. I think it's, uh, I think it's Dugan. He's getting, he's, in Dugan right. yeah, he's getting in and taking some of those power plays. He's not frightened of work. He's not frightened of the tough stuff. Josh Dugan, here's what mode on the 40 metre line. And uh, there's a knock on. Ball lost in playing it. He was. Now, to Queensland, when they shifted that ball to the right in that last set of six, I reckon that was their first attacking play since about the 15 minutes of the game, wasn't it? They've, they've played no attacking football whatsoever since very early in the piece. A short break. We'll give them a little inspiration, knowing that they're attacking from 45 metres out. The face on Watmo tells the story. Mind you, his, his debit there is far outweighed tonight by his credits. He's got that in him, Anthony, but tonight he's been superb in, in attack. Here's Hodges, and they pick him up and drive him down. Tate. As I said, there's a relationship out there 
It has gone way back to Junior Kangaroos 12 years ago with Justin Hodges. Play by Bentillo. Cooper Cronk back behind Gillette. Thurston Dummy. Thurston Dummies again. Loses the ball. It'll be picked up by Tamo. He tramples out of it. No, he can't. He's got a leg rope on him. Let's come back up here. Well, he very nearly ducked under, I think, a left arm there from Luke Lewis, Jonathan Thurston. And it was lucky the ball came loose. I think that's Boyd Cordner coming onto the field. Watch, dummy, duck, underneath Lewis. Lewis just gets a fingertip on the ball. He was sort of half beaten by the dummy, but then reached back and got a piece of the pill. And that forced it from Thurston. There's Lewis going off, limping on an ankle. Boyd Cordner into the action. Youngest player on show tonight, 21 years of age, 27 days younger than Josh Papali. And a healthy reception when he headed out there. He's in great form with the Roosters. And it's Jennings, another play well for the Tricolors, comes back on the inside. Jennings has dragged a penalty. Just hung in there too long, Queensland. Look, the next, look, I know it's obvious, but the next try in this game, it is huge. Absolutely huge. Queensland can kick away. They defend the lead better than anyone. If New South Wales get in front, their belief will go through the roof. Penalty 7-2 to the New South Wales boys, keeping pressure on the Maroons. Hoffman. That's if there was a roof. He's played unbroken. 11 metres out, Watmo, Watmo sprinting towards the line. Great tackle to shut him down. It was Ben Teo. Now Tamo. James Tamo within a metre of the line. And a penalty goes to a, the New South Wales side. Well, there's the request being granted once again. Queensland, they've got to settle this down, slow it down as much as they possibly can. That's a lot in the rug, mate. Come on. So, speaking of the next try, is it about to present itself? Played by Watmo. Pierce is with the ball. He goes behind. Dugan comes in. And Dugan is held. Nine metres out on the second. Farrah, Pierce, and he flops it back to Cordner. His first touch. Morris, Pierce, Tamo, Tamo on the 10-meter line. Awkward tackle. Two tackles left. Farrah, now Merrin, run around again. Now it's gone back for Watmo. And the last is coming up for New South Wales. Maloney, long for Jennings. He spilled the ball. Last tackle. Changeover, last tackle, breach. I need you to hold Robbie back here. Well, it's a nice Robbie. option. Queensland would have been expecting to grab a kick into the end goal. Maloney went for the big one out to Jennings, but Jennings comes up with a fumble. Still, it's not a bad position to give your opposition the ball. And Queensland are looking rocked at the moment, they really are. That's been a great battle on the far side. Justin Hodges and Michael Jennings. Papali. Tate playing back, he goes Hodges with one of his trademark runs to the halfway line is Justin. Now for Nate, Miles. Won the Lewis and the Call of Medals last year. First in, charged down, and it's gone back for Smith. The two Blues players that went in to charge down finished on their back. Six more tackles, and Queensland attacking as McQueen takes it ahead. They pick him up and put him down. 22 metres out from the line. Cameron again. Jonathan Thurston, Cooper Cronk, behind Friday, Slater's in, and the ball has gone over the top of Brent Tate. And very, very rare to see Brisbane of the, 
Queensland side react to a mistake, but they did to a man. We'll take a break and come back. Justin, you do likewise, boys. Well done, Thanks, boys. Yeah, this Scrum at Origin 3 is recalled. And uh, the jump in, don't forget that download jump in and get all the camera angles, all of the stories out of tonight. Go to the App Store and download Jump In. Be your own director, do whatever you like with it. Cherry Evans about to come back in. Jump In, by the way, is free of charge. Go to the App Store. Thirty metres out from the Blues line with Big Tamo playing it for his captain, who's come in and turned it back around in front for Bird. Bird is on the halfway line now. And they go to the blind side, and Pierce beats one, goes back in to Cordner, to go to Maloney, to Hoffman. A gap presents itself. Jennings is flying down the left side. Jennings has run out of room. He'll play it 15 metres out. Quick play the ball. Maloney, long, Pierce across, puts the kick in, goes to ground. Queensland's ball with Matt Gillette. Uh, it's a poor play, Mitchell Pearce. He had too much to think about. He didn't know whether to kick, to pass. In the end, he just about dropped it and missed his foot completely to hand the football over. It's a poor play at a big moment. Greg Inglis is not well in back play. He was hunched over and I think favouring that bandaged knee of his. But there's a limp there. Miles. 30 metres out, here's Boyd, 12 origin tries, oh, Miles hit hard there by Bird, Smith as Thurston runs a decoy to take heat away, Cronk puts the kick in, oh, oh. James McManus, oh, sure, Back in the corner, there wasn't a maroon to be seen, and he's had a snatch at it. And this is the beauty of Ooh. Cooper Cronk's kicking game. The Queenslanders celebrate at the southern end of the field. But Cooper Cronk, I'm sure that Billy Slater at times tells him where to kick to. He catches the ball, then hooks it back to his left. He gets a wicked bounce, and McManus is drawn to it like a bead of honey. He can't help to put his hand out. And the moment he did, he knew he'd done the wrong thing. He knew he'd done the wrong thing. Queensland go on the attack. The value of a mistake evident there. The New South Welshman racing back. Their heads dropped. I need you quicker on the scrum. Struggling to communicate. Queenslanders were jumping for joy. Here's a golden opportunity for them. Holden State of Origin across Australia on the nine win and NBN networks. And here they go, the Queenslanders with Thurston pushing it along the line to Hodges. 15 metres out from the New South Wales line. They regroup their defences and Cherry Evans is out there now, the last of the interchange players into the game. And he could be explosive, Cherry Evans. Smith on the cronk, cronk, English, English run around, Slater, Boyd, Boyd, away from one, taken five out. That was nicely read by the Blues defence. Inglis again, a dummy half, maybe that knee is a problem. Here's Miles, seven metres out. Smith looking around, who wants it, where are we going? We're going right, it's out to Cronk, and Cronk for first, and Thayday a dummy. Then it's gone from Slater, gone to Hodges. Hodges can't get through the defence. Good tackle, Josh Dugan in the main, with Greg Bird. Here's Cronk plugging it in. Dugan was back there to take it. That's brilliant. That is incredible presence from Josh Dugan. Gee, I really was expecting a high ball there. Is McManus doing the best thing he can do? Get in there, get amongst it. 
just quietly in case we haven't said it enough, this is a cracking game of Origin football. I've never heard a crowd so consistently loud and raucous into the game. It's brilliant. Bird. Inside the 40 metre line. And a charge down oh. on the Pierce kick. It's gone way, way over to the sideline and into touch. Yeah, it came off Daly Cherry Evans there, and that's why Mal Meninga has got him into the action to try and get some energy, lift his teammates. State of origin, a break and coming back. Saved the day with a, a tackle from behind, forced the ball loose. Cherry Evans now, across field, steps and gets a penalty for the Blues inside the 10. Josh Moss. I was just about to say, the Blues have got to be careful here in the latter part of this game. They've got a good lead in the penalty count, and sometimes that can level up if you're not careful. Around the corner, Jennings tried to grab that one-handed. He was attended by Tate. And the ball came loose. An opportunity here now for Queensland. Let's quickly check the injury update down there for Painaway, Andrew. Yeah, Luke Lewis, uh, he's got a tear in his calf. He won't be back tonight. Here's Smith getting an offload out the back from Miles. Now McQueen falls dangerously. Chris plays it to Smith. Now for Parker, back into the action. And he's rolled it down 12 metres away from the line. So now, anxious moments for the Blues. Down by four, chance right, and Friday comes in as it goes back to Cronk. No, it came to Hodges. Now to Thurston, middle of the ground, McQueen. McQueen is tackled, only just though, by Cordner. Played for Slater. Slater gets it back to Cherry Evans. Now for Corey Parker. Here's Sam Friday bursting onto it. But Jennings is there with Maloney. So Smith, now it's a way to crunk. They got the numbers. Hodges is over. Justin Hodges is over to score. Hodges scores his fifth origin try. Maybe his most important ever. He got a wonderful ball. Got him on the outside of the defence and in between defenders. And that next crucial try I was talking about has been secured by the Maroons and the Maroons. Four on three, Cooper Cronk. It's the line run of Justin Hodges. The presence of Jonathan Thurston out the back had an effect on the defence as well. But Thurston doesn't throw the pass. He, he was part of it. Playing in his 18th Origin game tonight. Had a, a checkered career with injuries. Justin Hodges in the middle of that circle. And there's no melee on. That's normally where you'd find him if there was one on. He has just scored what well may be the try that will give them their eighth consecutive series victory. The young man from Cairns, three grand finals. He's won two with different clubs, the Roosters and the Broncos, and undeservedly was sin bin, in my opinion, in game number two. He scores tonight his fifth origin try. He's been a wonderful player, Justin Hodges, and particularly for Queensland. If you cast your mind back to his debut game, I think maybe his first or second game, he had a couple of horror ones early on. He shows what perseverance can do. 
He's been a great, great player. Thurston from out wide. This will take him to within one of Mal Meninga's all-time point scoring record for Origin. It's coming back, it's coming back, it's going across the face. So, no change. 12-4 Queensland, there's your try scorer, Wally Lewis. Well, when you're doing it tough, you rely on the players that have been there, done that so many times before. 31 years of age, Hodjo's had plenty of experience and enormous amounts of big, big game time as well. He's one of the blokes, if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, you'll back him nine times out of ten to show that. He doesn't say a lot on the field, but it's his performances that have provided good work for Queensland this evening. That was really well constructed. He didn't run far, Hodges, but it was an intelligent run. Outside, he came very straight. And Cooper Cronk hit him with the, the perfect ball. Sturlow, and it was on the back of their first penalty since the 12th minute. So Queenslanders are pretty happy about that. They can't afford to make mistakes themselves. They was grimacing with, I think, an ankle problem. He plays it on his own 20 metre line. Parker it is, a, a fellow Bronco, rolling it up to the 30 metre line for Smith to sweep it back to Miles and Miles to Slater, Slater goes in one side of the tunnel, he comes out the other side, he goes again, he's still going Billy Slater and he'll play the ball 30 metres out. Cameron Smith, Cooper Cook, back for John Thurston, taken by Ryan Hoffman, cancelled that, he missed him. Jennings has got him on the 20 metre line. Cameron Smith, Cooper Cronk. Cronk kicks across. He's looking for Boyd. There's the catch. Oh, beautiful take by James McManus. Outstanding. That was a really great take. Josh Mullins. We're into the championship rounds now, Rabbits. 16 minutes to go. Game three. The Maroons lead by eight. But the Blues, if they can strike in the next 10 minutes can set up a grandstand finish. Maloney going along to Hoffman. I think I was reading Peter Sterling's column in the last couple of days where he was talking about not so much the first 10 minutes, but the last 10 minutes. Where Queensland have made a habit of miracle finishes. Well, right now, that is what New South Wales have to do. Here's Brent Tate. That try has given them an injection. An injection of life. There's a bit more spring in the step, I think. She's a wholehearted footballer, Brent Tate. He got back there to take the run from Billy Slater. He said, I'll take it, mate. And he chewed up the metres. McQueen. How good is this bloke, though? Chris McQueen. I don't, I don't think he's had a break. McQueen. He just gets about his work. Unsung hero. Not a face shot by Melbourne Ingram. He's is justified at Greg Inglis fending off players. Eventually they drive him backwards. 45 out from the Queensland from the New South Wales line, fourth tackle. Parker now. Cordner is around the legs. They're in the middle of the ground. They're on 40 metre line and Cronk. A mile of time to kick. And New South Wales taking it back through Dugan. Maloney got a push in the back for his quarter. This is Brett Morris. 30 line. New South Wales end. Brad Fittler, of course, running the bottle for New South Wales. From down there, what's it looking like? Yeah, they're going good, mate. They're still in the game. They know they have to play some football. The worst thing is we... A couple of times we have played, we've dropped it, so it doesn't really encourage you sometimes, but the talk's good, Junior's got control. I'm just going to say, Brad, that they're still talking. Yeah, mate, they're... and the good thing is they're all talking the same, so there's still 15 minutes. Queensland have done it a few times. It's about time we did it. Yeah, I just uh, I just made the same point. Thank you for talking to us. Enjoy. And the Junior that Brad Fitness referring to is the number seven for New South Wales, Mitchell Pearce. The main playmakers. He said, well, so they're close enough, if good enough. But as you mentioned earlier, as Cherry Evans takes it towards the 20. Queensland defender lead like nobody else. Boyd. Putting himself right in the middle of the ruck. This is the part of the game where it doesn't matter what number you've got on your back. Look at the Queensland backs getting in there. Slater, Boyd, Tate, Hodges. They all play like forwards. Now Thurston. Saw a New South Wales player go to the ground after 
Hawks. Cameron Smith had played the ball. It was Greg Bird. I'm not sure what happened. Dugan is with the ball now. He's always trying, Greg Bird. Do you think he might be milky? <laughs> yeah, he's got a bit of that in him. McManus. It's a big cow. Maloney. James. First New South Wales 5 8 on Dubu to win at origin level. Now he'd like me to say a series win, but at the moment that's doubtful. As Dugan links up, Morris goes strong down the right side to the 20 metre line. Big play here, tackle five. Now the kick, and Pierce goes across, it's booking, and uh, Brent Tate. Goes up and brings it down. Cherry Evans. He's not going to make a mistake, Brent Tate, doing anything negative. He doesn't come up with the play. It's not through trying to do something positive for his team. And, and he took on the responsibility there. Justin Hodges allowed him to do so. And here he is now in the dummy half. Looking to help out. Swung around in the tackle of what might. As Gus said... Parker might be the exception right now, but the backs are in there doing as much as they can to help the forwards. Ray, they're going to need an enormous chase here, Queensland. They're under real pressure. They only made about 20 metres in that five tackle set. It's Brett Morris sailing in from the left, and he's taking Dugan with him. Almost out to the halfway line. He's allowed to run a long way. Jennings from dummy half. And Jennings to the 40 metre line. Farrah, now for Hoffman, and Ryan, he played both for Queensland and New South Wales at the under-19 level, and here they go short to Boyd Cordner, Farrah to Bird, and Greg straightens it up and takes it to the 10, need a result here, either points or a restart, five gone, Pierce, ricochet, Back, Merrin, knocks Merrin it on. knocks on, knocks it on. he's nullified. Well, did he knock on? Well, what was he doing back there? He must have just come on the field, did he? Here it is with Watmo. Watmo tackled. And he's just been interchanged with Ryan Hoffman. So, for Fita. Was there a knock on from Merrin? Pierce, Cordner. Cordner, Merrin. Merrin has broken free. He's over. Under the bar. Merrin has scored. And that's the result they needed. Took advantage of a, a rebound. Played out to kick the Queensland defence. And I think you'll find that Trent Merrin is able to beat Corey Parker. No mean feat. Close to the line. Ball back on the inside to Boyd Cordner. Trent Marin one-on-one -on -one with Parker. He's able to get in under the black dot. Converts the Merrin try. 12-10 the score. All right, New South Wales need a try to win. Eight and a half minutes to go. It comes down to their playmakers. In order, Robbie Farrow, the captain, has got to drive them forward. The two halves, Mitchell Pearce and Maloney. These two fellas from the Roosters have got to combine now. They've got to start to run Queensland around dummy and go themselves. And Dugan, the man at the back, who's had an absolute belter of a game, he might be the one that makes the difference. If he can trail these playmakers around, he could be the one that discharges someone down the edge and gets them the try. The four playmakers from New South Wales now need to stand up. So Queensland, they kick off. We go into the final nine or eight minutes.
And Fafita is hammered by Queensland. Just back on that uh, inference I made to Mera knocking on, I'm being told up the line that he didn't knock on. You remember Pierce kicked, there was a rebound, and I thought Mera knocked on, but they say he didn't. If I get a chance, I'll play it for you, Cordner. Now, Watmo, Watmo! Cherry Evans cutting those flashing feet from under him. Dugan up the middle. Two-point ball game. Queensland in front. Now, Pierce again. It goes high. Down towards Slater. It'll bounce. It'll bounce back towards New South Wales. And Brent Tate has got the ball. Well, there was some real indecision in the backfield there by Queensland. They didn't want that high ball. It could have gone anywhere. Blues tails up. They're struggling to get any structural formation here. Queensland, Darius Boyd comes in to help out. Still got players coming back on side from the kick. So long to Thurston. He goes back in for McQueen. Pierce and Farrah working in the middle. Now Cherry Evans. The final tackle on this set. And Cooper Cronk driving it down for Brett Morris to bring it back. Six and a half to go. And the crowd here lifting the Blues, driving them home. Jennings. Merrin leaves the field, hopping back out. Maloney. Good suits, that one. Farrah then. Blindside play. Cronk came at him, two of them missed him. Jennings supports. And Jennings will play it a couple of metres into Queensland's area. It's back now for Maloney. It's with Watmo. Now Pierce. He, oh, it's gone off the shoulder of Dugan. Picked up by Josh Morris. And he goes away from Thurston. And he's held by Cameron Smith. What a chase. On the 40 metre line. That's a phenomenal effort by Cameron Smith. Maloney. Sending it down high. Hoffman's after it. Here's oh. Billy Slater. Oh. out in mid-air. Oh, that's a dumb, dumb play. You've got to keep your wits about you at this stage of the game. Slater always leaps for the ball. He tries to draw that. And the Blues needed to let him land before looking to make contact. And now Queensland with a penalty. Both Hoffman and Fafita there. Ryan Hoffman making the first contact, taking their time. Cameron Smith, They're in no hurry to get the restart after getting that penalty. Here it is. Well, ball control is very important for Queensland here, but I think they've also got to remember that they've got to try and take the ball across the field as much as they can dictate to the opposition defence. Scott. Doesn't New South Wales owe them one to snatch it at the death? Parker. Just one. No, no, me one. Terry Evans arcing around around the ruck area. 12-10 in favour of Queensland. I'm told in front of a record crowd for this configuration, which is at 84,000. Now it's away to Cronk. Across the face to Thurston. Turned inside for Parker. And four minutes of origin remain. Massive play. To the right side for Cronk. He kicks, and here comes Slater charging after it, and it's taken by Dugan, and Dugan's back into the field of play. Maloney, Scott and Smith. Well, the battle there between the number ones when the ball came down was as much of will as it was strength. Josh Dugan able to get and stay in the field of play. Now Boyd Corden on the right fringe. 40 20, hunted up. Farris kick bouncing up, and Slater will be back with the ball on his 10. Chances the pass. 
goes to Boyd, beats one, beats two, beats three, swerves around four, comes down to the 40 metre line, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant by Darius Boyd. Oh, you can only stand and applaud that. Now McQueen to the halfway line. What a play by Slater and Boyd there at that stage of the game. Inside three, Greg Inglis. Right on the Blues, 40 metre line. Cherry Evans. Probably thinking of something flash and then pulling it back. Physically and mentally. Cameron Smith. Now it's with Corey Parker. Parker's able to unload. Go you, go Cameron team. Smith away, the captain. He's tackled two metres out on five. Played back for Thurston. Thurston gets it away to Corey Parker. Yeah. Under Matt Scott. And the front row forward scores. They've got an intruder out on the field, right? Oh, no, hang on a moment. There's security. We've got some idiot who's gone out there and got involved in the play, I think you'll find. It's just... Well, oh, there's yellow just shirts all over the field. Hey, just worry about it. I think there'll be more than one. If that's no try, they've taken all advantage away from us. So it's the old school pack of scum six to go, mate. Yeah, he's called it. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what the yeah. rule is. Cameron, Mate, Cameron is that basically is, uh, getting Shane Hay in the crash course All in right. obstruction caused by an outside no agency. Try. I want to just check the impact in there. The, team in the, the team in the attacking oh. zone. Andrew, but that, Andrew, we haven't, we haven't ruled out this try yet. Well, it's a streak and it's some moron yeah. has decided Andrew, to get his gear off and interfere with the play. Are you talking with to me? two minutes to go. Two minutes to go, now, the referee has said no try. He wants them to check the impact of the intruder on the field. Here it comes, with yellow shirts and everyone all over him. He trips over. He's in the way. But <laughs> Well, that'll be Greg Bird. <laughs> yeah, that will be. You're right there. What a dive. That'll no. do. There's Ryan Hoffman, actually. <laughs> But he's learnt from Greg. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we'll scrum feed to Queensland. Yeah, the, the team in attacking territory yep, will get the loose head and feed. No try, obstruction caused by a spectator. What a moron. Scrum feed. Maybe yeah. more so Queensland by security. Ball. Because that's security. the rules. It's a mutual infringement, OK? So, <laughs> what else can this incredible product provide? Well, that's, that is such a shame. That, that is... What that a is, moron. That is, Stay in, get in there. That is as, get in. as bad as it gets. That is terrible. Stay in. What an absolute distress. Yeah. Yeah. He travelled a fair way to get to where he got, actually. Okay, Cameron. Hey. And you look at the yellow shirts around the ground. Well, Queensland have got to be thinking here and planning ahead. I'm sure Cam Smith and Cooper Cronk are doing that. Whilst they're very determined to be able to drive the nail in the coffin by scoring in the first five tackles, if they're not able to do it, they've got to be able to ensure a restart, get the ball back from the goal line drop. So here they go, the Slater. Yeah, if Queensland play smart here, New South Wales should not get the football back. And they normally play smart. Parker, burrowing, looking. Line side's open. He's a metre from the line. Wally is saying go right. And Cameron goes back to the left to Kronk, who turns it into the middle for Matt Scott, who's going to have another go. And he's held a couple of metres out. Scott playing it for Smith. Now for Cherry Evans. Here is Hodges. He's got one, thinks about two. He'll play it five out. And we've got just on one minute to play. Hodges slow. The Blacksies Blues don't like it. Now from Smith to Cronk and then to Parker. So that's five. A lot of responsibility. I was going to say on Cronk. It's gone to Thurston. Oh, what a wonderful take by Maloney. He got a ball to Farrah. They're inside their 20. Farrah kicks for McManus. McManus can't take it. It's gone over the touchline. Off the New South Wales player. And Queensland, they've started their celebration. The celebration has started. Rums are supposed to pack. 
In fact, <laughs> New South Wales have stopped the clock. But it will it be a Queensland clear, feed anyway. Well, Queensland have got to get ready for a giant shove from New South Wales. That's their only chance unless Queensland drop the ball. There'll be some protesting and saying that he was actually taking in the air again when it's the attacking side. That's not the case. I don't think they allow you to push him scrums stand up, anymore. Stand right? up. Let him in, Sam. Go down. Boy, let him in. Loose head. What an incredible game. So 15 seconds. Guys, keep it straight. Wait till the ball is in. Hold the weight. Ryan, hold the weight. Ben Cummins not happy with the scrum packing. They win the scrum. They deliver. It goes to the right. They're 20 metres out. They're going to win it. Inglis plays it slowly. Scott takes it ahead. He's been magnificent tonight. Queensland have won their eighth consecutive series. It is a wonderful Australian sports achievement. The champions prevail. The dynasty continues. The Maroon of Queensland, they celebrate across the northern state. They celebrate across Australia, the Queensland supporters. New South Wales, they needn't be humbled by their efforts tonight. They have been absolutely brilliant, given the injuries and problems they had coming up in preparation. But this is a champion. Eight in a row for the Maroons and Malmeninga.